Conor McGregor set out to conquer the world. A whiskey drinking, ass whooping, smack talking multimillionaire. But it appears the Irish superstar is intent on destroying the life he has fought so hard to create. Despite his problems outside of the cage, the notorious one has reached the pinnacle of the sport on multiple occasions. A two division UFC champion having only lost twice since entering the promotion in 2013. His most recent loss was at UFC 229, an embarrassing mauling at the hands of the current lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov, a bout that ended in the now textbook McGregor mayhem outside the cage following weeks of abusive slurs by the Irishman. Don't let that smelly rap put that hat ha on your head, Joe. The smell of that thing. Don't ever let him, let him put that hat on your head. Early in his career, McGregor's personality was refreshing. His antics confined to verbal jabs and fight promotion. I was just giggling at his little soft buddy. I, I, I've never seen a skinny guy. How can a fat guy be so skinny at the same time? I've never, it's, it amuses me, but. But with success came excess and lines right. were crossed. Hey, hey, Connor, Connor, don't throw those down. Connor, Connor. That's a wrap. A two-round demolition of lightweight champ Eddie Alvarez in 2016 secured Conor his second belt. Now, the biggest star in MMA, what more could the self-proclaimed champ champ want? Well, more controversy. Floyd Mayweather Jr. was tempted out of retirement for the money fight and a press tour that crossed the boundary from class to explicit crass. McGregor walked away with a TKO loss in the 10th and over $100 million. Then in April 2018, Conor McGregor, the biggest name in combat sports, decided to attack a bus in retaliation for an altercation between his friend Artem Lobov and Khabib Nurmagomedov. With the launch and success of both his August McGregor fashion label, and Proper 12 whiskey brand, he continued making headlines, but not always for the right reasons. I've spent a lot of time, Joe, slaying everybody in the company. Backstage, I'm starting fights off everybody. I've ridiculed everyone on the roster. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants! Sure enough, on March 11th, 2019, the former champ added another charge to his already impressive rap sheet when he was arrested for destroying a fan's phone outside a nightclub in South Florida. With no titles to his name and a string of very public embarrassments, the clock is ticking on McGregor's legacy. Without a turnaround soon, he is at risk of being remembered as the guy who made it to the top, only to blow it all away. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.